Thank God it's Friday. Friday happens to be one of my favorite days at all. Um, I was reading uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and uh, uh, it says rejoice even in this situation right now. Uh, the word of God is uh, advising us to rejoice uh, even in bad times and in good times. And, uh, and then in 17, uh, verse 17 says pray without ceasing. Uh, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ. So it's very difficult to do that in these circumstances. But guess what, brothers and sisters, uh, we are going to find remedy. We are going to find victory and peace uh, in Jesus Christ, in the Lord, because he is in control. He is in total control of everything that's happening in our lives today. So I just wanted us to maybe pray. You know, I'm not even going to... Uh, repeat the numbers to you with the with the virus right now because you already know. Uh, so we want to pray for the sick and those who are, have been infected by this virus right now that God can help us, that God can sustain bodies and, and spirits right now. So we want to pray for those. We want to pray for those who are in the vulnerable positions in our population. Uh, we want to pray for the young and the strong. We want to pray for the local, the state, and the federal governments, you know, Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for those who are in scientific laboratories right now trying to find a remedy that God will bless them with wisdom and understanding. God wants to we want to pray for those who are in the media, who are disseminating uh, information, that God will give them uh, the right attitude that God will give them the, the right words to inspire and to help others. We want to pray for those who are in the mental health, uh, you know, challenge. We have mental health challenges right now. There are so many people who have no uh, place right now. We want to pray for those who are homeless in the name of Jesus, that God will, uh, will just help them. We want to pray for those Christian missionaries uh, who are all over the world who went to do God's work and then they got stuck in a place where sometimes there's no medication, there's nothing that can be helpful to them. So we want to pray for all those people uh, this morning that God will bless them, that God will touch their lives, that God will do something amazing in their lives. So even as I said, thank God it's Friday today. I want to pray for all these uh, people right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you are a good God. Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you have given to each and every one of us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray for even those who have been infected, those who have been told they are positive right now. If they can hear my voice, God, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I intercede for them right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you bless them with a healing touch that comes from you, God. May you give them another touch that comes from you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for all those people that we've mentioned and even those we did not mention today God this Friday God that it may be a blessed Friday father you are it's Easter time it's a revelation time it's a miracle time it's a victorious time God so we claim everything that your your word says father in the name of Jesus father we know that the plans that you have for us are good plans for each and every one of us Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I do know the plans that I have for you plans not to harm you but to prosper you to give you a hope and a future so father we have hope in you we have a future in you God we will not be afraid we will go continue to do what we have to do God we are going to be smart we're going to be wise as a snake Lord, in the name of Jesus, but at the same time, gentle God, in the name of Jesus. So bless us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless every person who is hearing this prayer, God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Wherever you are, please, underneath this, there's a share button. Please share this with every person who may need to hear a prayer. God bless you, Lieutenant Shaka from Harlem in New York City. God bless you.